Hello, welcome to my presentation about my placement, Football Federation Northern Territory. My name is Wen Haoli and my student number is S296432. And during my presentation, I'm going to talk about, first of all, I'm going to talk about my background and introduction of Football Federation, and then I'm going to talk about my inter, uh, internship role, and then I will talk about some my personal experience and like skills acquired. Then I will talk about the ref reflection as a summary of my pr presentation. First of all, I will talk about uh, background and introduction. The Football Federation Northern Territory, the location of uh, the office of this organization is in uh, 131 Abala Road, Marara Northern Territory, and the main stadium of Football Federation is in 2023 20, Abala Road, Marara Northern Territory. And this, uh, this Football Federation is a not-for-profit organization. And the responsibility is promote, organize, and development football in Northern Territory to achieve this goal. Football Federation has many events um, like FFA, FFA Cup and Refugee World Cup and some uh, like some world, world, worldwide events such as Arafira Games and Dry Season Cups and it also helps to pro provide, provide development programs to players, coaches and re referees to, re to residen residents around Northern Territory and such as SAP and the full name is Skill, Skill Acquisition Program. And th this picture is about the structure of Football Federation. And the, the board of Football Federation have four, four, name, four members because uh, it's a not-for-profit organization. So this board is, uh, I think, the small board. Uh, the pre pre president of the board is Stuart Kenny, and the other three board members are Lisa Davas, Adam Fendi, and Fabio Phil. And the main management team. Uh, in this presentation, I mainly want to talk about, uh, I think, four persons in the office. First one is uh, our CEO, Bruce Stoller, and then is our office manager, uh, Paula Da Costa. And then is uh, the financial officer and she uh, Katie, Katie Xia and he is she is my sorry she is my supervisor and then it's uh, it's a Shrendra it's a media media officer in our office there are there are about seven, 17 clubs under our football federation such as uh, like you can say Darwin Olympics, Hellenic, Port Darwin, and Palmerston Rovers, Great Palmerston, uh, Katrina Football Club, and it also has some uh, clubs from Northern Zone and Central Zone, such as Litchfield Football Club, uh, Catherine Foot, Foot Club, and, uh, and well, Stonebird Football Club. Most of the clubs have, um, most of the clubs will attend the mini rudics this means uh, players will less than 13 years old and junior age, junior age, this means the player will be between 13 years old and 17 years old and the men's and the women's division one age, this means uh, the, adult, the adult games. Now I'm going to talk about the internship I played in in football federation is a financial officer assistant. I mean, this this is assist. This is this this role is to assist Katie Shaw's job. the The most time I spend there is to do the invoice. Uh, it it includes key invoice from suppliers such as Rebel and RMI, and key in, key and send print invoice to our customers. Our customers most. Most, most of our customers are clubs and players and then pay bills for invoice from our suppliers. I will give a short example for both of them. First is a receive invoice from supplier and pay bills. 
the examples we are we are talking about uh, the Jacona energy. The Jacona the Jacona energy always send us the invoice every month, and we will we will receive we will receive an email from Jacona about every three the, the first the first of every month the first day of every month or the second day of every month. Then when, after we receive the email, we will print it out and uh, and then highlight some points. This point are the like a invoice number, the invoice date, and uh, the most important one is the due date because we, we post the invoice in a in a folder and in and the the most recent due date one will at the top and the, and then it will be the last one will be like, like one month later to pay the bill. And after we highlight the points of the in the invoice, we, I, I will enter I will enter into the my op system. First up is to enter purchase and the purchase purchase function. Under the purchase function, uh, when I enter it, I will stamp and uh, enter on the invoice and put it in the folder. Wait, wait for our CEO Bruce to approve approve this bill. It only spent about one day or two days to for him to approve the bill. After he, after our CEO approve the bill, I will go to my old system again. But this time it's not the purchase function. It will be the pay bill function under under the purchase under the purchase. Uh, in the pay bill, I will take take this month's this month's bill and then um, pre and then press a record button. Then we will go to the uh, the online online payments. It, it, it means on online bank of NAB. And then usually for Jakarta we use B we use B pay. After pay the bill, we will print the receipt of the payment and and, and put the receipt of the payment and invoice together and put in a folder. The folder we should the folder should be account account payable. <coughs> Another example is about sending invoice to customers. Uh, as I have said, uh, as I have said, our cost, most of our customers are class, so the most invoice I sent is about the radio fee. First of all, we, I need to download the player radio player radio form from our football NT uh, football NT website, and then pick up the player from different clubs, such as I pick up all the players from Cashier of the clubs. And then put them in one Excel document and pick up all players from Port Darwin and then put them in one document. After that, I will. It's a, I think it's the most important and complex step is to calculate the radio fee, because for different club, I mean for different areas like uh, the northern areas, the central areas, the southern areas, so they have different rates, and for different League, like for minerals, it's the cheapest one, and for and for I mean for junior, for junior, it's a it's a most expensive one. So different areas, different leagues have different price. So it's very, it's not difficult, but it's very complex to calculate those fees. I must to pay. I must pay much attention to do this. After calculate the radio phase, I need to enter enter those radio phase in the my op system in my op system under the sales enter sales function. And in this function, I I need to take the print and send invoice because I need to print the invoice um, put the print the invoice for ourselves and then send the invoice to the clubs to. <coughs> To remind them to pay to pay their radio fee, and then <coughs> we will we will put all the invoice together and and put that in a folder, which name is uh, account accounts receivable. Another job for um 
for me is a reconciliation because we have two cars, two cars to to spend in our office. One 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 car for Bruce, and this car is mainly for like board meeting or some business meeting, and the other car is for our financial officer TJ. This this car is mainly for some uh, uh, office facilities or bills or flights or like uh, like something something daily something for daily life and <coughs> we, we do reconciliations to compare the receipts from the two cars and the bank statement this, <coughs> this reconciliation always do every three days and, and the other the other things I do in football federation is uh, undeposited fund this is mainly about our like gate taking tickets. Every I, I, I as I remember every Tuesday and Wednesday we have FFA Cup and every Saturday we have a dry season cup. We sell tickets to customers for players, for children, for adults. It's different it's different rate and the day after after the match we will collect all the money together and I need to count the amount of the money and put uh, fifty dollars, twenty dollars, ten dollars together, and then <coughs> I will take out eight hundred floating as a as a floating for next match, and the other and and other and other money, uh, the revenue we received from the gift takings. After count the after count the amount of the money, I will key in the. As you were key in, in the my old system and in in the inter sales then I will not me Kitty will put, will take the money to LAB bank and and drop it in the deposit box. After that we will send an email to our CEO Bruce to this this this, this email will have uh, the same match, same time in 2018 and 2019 for him to compare the uh, the revenue we make at different years at, at the same day. And the working uh, as the main skill I got from my placement, I think is my off system. This is uh, I think I think it's very useful and helpful system for accounting for, for accounting especially like bookkeeper and financial officer and then I think uh, the email skills is another skill I got uh, the most important one I think uh, I learned how to read emails every day from a CEO from customers from suppliers and catch the main points quickly from the uh, from an email and then re reply the emails in a uh, formal and uh, accurate ways to to our customers and suppliers. Uh, last but not least, I think is uh, atten attention to details because accounting, I think it's very, very, very careful work. We need to pay more attention to very small details because even small details can make big mistakes. So, <coughs> So uh, there are some examples for details uh, in invoices because that's the most most common things I touch in my daily in my daily life, uh, like uh, ABN numbers, uh, invoice numbers, and date. The date means the due date and the invoice date. And uh, for some players, they have the si they have the same family name, but they have different different given given name. But some players have. Same given name, some players have they, they have different family names, so we need to pay much attention to that. Oh, communication communication skills I forgot to say is oh, it's also a skill I got from uh, my placement because oh, I work not only in the office, I also work in you know in the stadium. So in the office, I can communicate with our manager Paula and with other people from different countries in English in a in a in a, in a very good way. And I also work in stadium. I need to communicate with the referee, with players, with the coaches, 
<coughs> and with security. And I also do the I also do the volunteer work during RF Euro games. Uh, it's uh, also good events for me to gain more communication skills. At the last, I will talk something about my reflections. First of all, it's the use of some uh, Office software and my op. Uh, the Office software, especially Excel, I think it's very important. And I also make some mistakes during my work. And then I got many advice, advices from my CEO, Bruce. And then I got, because I not only work as a accountant, like uh, as a financial officer, I also work as a volunteer in stadium. So I, I also got other experience not about accounting. First of all, I will talk something about the mistakes uh, uh, during my work. This is a very tricky mistake. I, when, when, we when we receive some uh, $100 gift voucher from players, they want to pay for their review fees. Uh, Katie wants me to collect all the vouchers from their email, but uh, you know, I make a big mistake, uh, not a big, a small mistake. Some players put it in, in their email directly and some player make it uh, as an attachment so uh, I, I ignore some attachments this is uh, you know this is a small mistake but it it, it might make make very big it may, may, may be very big mistake in the future and I also got some advice from my CEO first of all when I, in, in my interview, he, he told me, as a content, you should not always stay in the office and come uh, and do this uh, data, do this uh, invoice. You should go out and see how other people work, how your, how your workmates work. It's very good for our, it's very good for our, you know, for our work. And then <coughs> he, he told me something about how to deal with something I don't know because like English is my second language. So I, sometimes I can't understand something and in this in this position I should I shouldn't do it by myself I should ask my friends ask my workmates ask my CEO about this question and they will give me some advice and then he, sh he also told me I need to pay more attention to small details it's like a small snake a small snake if you don't pay more attention to a small snake the snake will become bigger and bigger, it will be big trouble in the future. Okay, thank you for your cooperation and this is all my presentation, thank you.